I'm happy to welcome back onto the show Shelly Mitchell, our Youth Horticulture Programs Director. Shelly, today we're visiting Skyline Elementary School here in Stillwater and we're participating in the Junior Master Gardener program, which you are involved with. Can you tell me a bit about the program? Okay, sure. The uh, Junior Master Gardener program is written curriculum through Texas A&M University, and it's a gardening-based curriculum that incorporates all the school subjects, so math, science, English, social studies, even art, PE, and music. And what the kids here do is they go through some of that curriculum, but they also go through a special curriculum called Literature in the Garden. Mm -hmm. And it takes six different children's books that are about gardening and incorporates different gardening activities with their subjects that they're studying. So like right now, they just finished reading The Gardener, which was written by Sarah Stewart. Mm -hmm. And it talks about different propagation techniques. And since most of these kids have only ever grown something from seed, right. then we're showing them that you can take a cutting and grow vegetatively too. This is a great lesson in botany. Mm -hmm. What's the curriculum written for? Well, yeah. it's actually written for grades three through eight, mm -hmm. but the good thing about this curriculum is it's so flexible. You can tailor it up and down, and I've used it with everywhere from pre-kindergarten students all the way to senior citizens. So even though it's written for grades three through eight, you can use it with anybody. Very adaptable. And our, um, our very own ambassadors run this group here at Skyline Elementary School, but you can also have groups through other organizations, is that correct? Yes, we have groups in 4-H, we have groups at church, summer camps, day camps, and in schools like this. Okay. But anybody can use it. It'd be great for like homeschooling or anybody who wants to incorporate gardening into their curriculum while they go ahead and teach the other subjects too. And it's very hands-on, which is wonderful. Oh, it's very hands-on. And it, it uses materials from around the house, like paper plates, socks, film canisters, tin foil. And you don't even have to have a garden to do this. If you just have a paper cup, <laughs> you can grow. Absolutely. So we don't need anything special. That's great. No, nothing special. Um, what do the children who participate in this program receive? Well, when they first sign up, we give them a certificate of registration, mm -hmm. full color, suitable for framing. Mm -hmm. And then as they go through the different activities, if they earn certain levels of recognition, then they get a certificate. They can also get a little pin. And if they go through about, mm, about a school year's worth of curriculum, they can finish and actually become a certified junior master gardener. Okay, and of course they're gaining a great amount of knowledge through the process. And learning where their food comes from. That too. Well, how can people who are interested in starting a junior master gardener program learn more about this? Um, they can contact me at OSU, mm -hmm. or they can actually go to the Junior Master Gardener National website. And if, you, if they register as a group, they can actually get their own page on that website too. So they might see themselves on the web someday. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for sharing more about the Junior Master Gardener program with us today. Oh, thank you very much. Today we're going another way to get a plant besides seeds or bulbs is to take a cutting and you're going to all go like one at a time out there. You're going to get a cup and it has some holes in the bottom. That's to let the water out because we learned already if a plant just sits in water too long it's gonna die. It's gonna die. You all learned a lot about how to have a healthy plant. So when you're out there, after you get your cutting, you're gonna make a, a hole with a pencil in your soil, so you have a little hole to put it in. And then you're going to put the end of your cutting into this white powder. We have some over there, it's called root tone. And it will help the roots grow on your plant faster. Now once you take your plant home, you can take it home today with you, boys and girls. Give it at least two weeks, okay, before you look, before you try to plant it somewhere else. But don't be pulling it in and out of, of the little hole because it won't have a chance for the roots to grow. You've got to leave it in there, keep the soil kind of damp, but not dry, okay? And then after about a couple of weeks, you should have a plant that could grow into a plant this big.
very interested in plants for some reason. Very interested. What's most interesting about them? That I like bugs a lot, and bugs like to eat plants. Mm -hmm. So I would like a garden so I could get a lot of grasshoppers because I like catching grasshoppers.